Oh shit. What's good? What's good? <laughs> hey, I'm playing this because why am I playing this song? Because it's mine. <laughs> oh, gee, you hear me? Hold on, we finna get into it. I'm sorry, I'm. <laughs> What's the situation going on? Got me uh, a little bit like. But we gonna kick this thing off. Let me see something. Where the fuck is it at? Okay, okay. Ah, uh, shit. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, I was trying to do something and I had this shit set up, Sean, and this shit was like actually fucking up. I don't know. Why is this thing actually fucking up on me right now? What's going on with y'all though? That, that that's what we really want to know. On the real. Mm-hmm. What's going on? All right, y'all know what it is. I'm finna kick this shit off in about two minutes. Let me go ahead and let me do what y'all should be doing right now. Hopefully, y'all can do it with me. Everybody everybody on here, y'all are part of some type of group or some shit like that. You feel me? Can y'all please share this shit to y'all groups? Share this to y'all y'all pages. All you got to do, go to the bottom left-hand corner. Click that motherfucking button. I promise you, I promise you that Facebook will not charge you a motherfucking dime. We ain't going to hold on too much longer. We're going to get into this shit because we got a lot to talk about today. Um, We got a few things actually to talk about today, you dig? On a real. Uh, I want to say give me about 60 seconds so I can officially kick it off. Shout out to my co-executive uh, producer, MD. For even being on here right now, because I know good and well that he is somewhere watching that game or looking at the game. He probably got the other phone in his hand watching the game or some shit like that. You feel me? Or oh, the real. So, so the crazy part is, it's like I want to uh, give a, I want to show some love to, to Cuzzo and his team. Shout out to Philly. You know what I'm saying? Philly, the Eagles. You did. Good luck on y'all game today. But if y'all do face my squad, goddamn it, y'all know what's happening. Patriots all day, you feel me? Oh, uh, let me see. Okay, let's get it. We, what, we gonna get to it? We gonna get to it? Why is my shit like fucking up over here? I got this one fucking up. Everything fucking up. I'm fucked up. Who all fucked up with me? I was, my homegirl and I was talking about some shit earlier. Okay, this is where it is. Motherfucker was talking about early like shit. Is it too early to be drinking? Let me see. Hell no, it ain't too early to be drinking. God damn it, we gonna get this motherfucker here on the real. I, I know I, I rocking the glasses today. I ain't put the, I wanted to feel like a little educated today. That's that, that's the look I was going for. You feel me? All right, let's kick it off right now. In case you ain't already know, this is the Mister Already Show, and I am that boy Semi Auto, aka Mister Already. Make sure you got your blunts rolled, your cups pulled, and badass kids out the way. Because for the next hour, us grown folks got some shit to say. We got a few things that we going to talk about this motherfucking that, that's been going on as far as this week. It's been crazy. It's been a lot going on. Uh, before I go any further um, from where I'm from, not only the city that I'm from, but actually the block of the area that I, that I claim, rather, whatever you want to call it. We uh, took a loss, of, um, we took a real loss, and I want to take a moment of silence out right now for to pay respects for uh, Shanae. Nay, um, I think her um, her services are actually today. I uh, wish I could have been there. I just hope everybody uh, everybody's doing well, but let me get a quick moment of silence for her right now. Okay. Um, as always, when I start the show off, I always kick it off telling y'all what the meal of the day, the song of the day, and the drink of the day is. The meal of the day, because because sometimes people be wondering, like I tell y'all the song, so y'all be like, you know what, let me check that out, or that is my song, I'm going to hear this. I tell y'all the drink, because y'all be like, what are we going to go to the store and get? And then I tell y'all the meal, because as often a lot of people, we like, man, what are we going to eat today? So the meal for today is 
loaded baked potatoes. Whatever the fuck you're going to put in them, whatever. I put steak, shrimp, and, ch and chicken in mine with the broccoli, melted cheese, onions, and, and some peppers in that thing. Man, that thing come out, ooh, we so nice, you feel me? Shout out to Sierra. I see you on deck right now. Shout out to Sean. I see you on deck. Shout out to the homie Stamp on deck. I see my sister on deck earlier. Shout out to Juan, goddamn my favorite brother. Shout out to Keegan. I see you on deck, you feel me? Uh... Let's see what else is there. Okay, we, we did the meal. We're going to go for the song of the day. The song that we're listening to for today is, oh, my boy Big Swift in the building. The song we're listening to for today is going to be, um, actually, it's going to be Kuda, Takashi 6 9 Yes, I listened to that song, and I listened to Do, and I listened to him for a specific reason, because I study people before I actually listen to him, because y'all know me, I'm anti-poo. But uh, if y'all want to know, yeah, Takashi 6 9 Kuda, that's the song of the day. The drink of the day is a Jose. I'm not going to endorse them because I'm endorsing my cups. We got the cups here and everybody, so shout out, you feel me? Uh, as always, the show is being executively, executively produced by myself, Semi Auto, a.k.a. Mr. Already, as well as my cousin, my peoples, Marcus MD, you feel me? That's who rocking. Um, and today we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about, have you ever fucked somebody and then like, whether it was right there or whether it was eventually or down the line, whatever the case is, have you ever fucked somebody and you, then you fucked their friend and didn't give a fuck about what they actually, the original person actually thought about it? We're going to talk about that. We're going to have the cups on deck too. We're going to have something way to give away cups. We're going to be sending them out all across the country. Uh, we're going to talk about clout chasers too. And when I talk about, when I thought about the people who chase clout, in a sense, it's, it's natural. We all do it in a sense. I'm chasing clout in a sense. I, if, if me doing this show, I want everybody, I want y'all to get the viewers up. I want to have a million views, you feel me? On the real. Last week's episode got 6,700. That was the most by far. I mean, that was the most so far. So I, I'm happy for that. But let's get these views up. So in a sense, I'm, ch I'm clout chasing. But I'm talking about those who clout chase for the wrong shit. Like LeVar Ball, for instance. Or let's say, you know, uh, Chicago rapper King Yella has been uh, trying to put it out there somewhere like he was fucking on Cardi B. Clout chasing. That coolest monkey in the jungle shirt, I'm not going to really stay on that subject because that ain't what we do on this show. We, I'm not a fuck. I'm not going to go run for president or none of that political shit. I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, even though it's going to sound real fucking ignorant. Even though I'm a real asshole, if you really listen to what the fuck I actually be saying, you're going to admit to yourself like, you know what? He is telling the truth. So with that being said... Let me get these let me get these views in. Everybody press share right now. We're gonna get into the show. And we're gonna we're gonna talk about how you get cloud chasing and all this all this crazy ass mess. We're gonna get into all of the motherfucking subjects. I'm gonna tell y'all a crazy part where I had a close call. Now this story is real, real personal. And I gotta try to figure a way to, to word it, but I'ma still do it anyway. I don't give a fuck. On the real. Um and what it was something else I was oh shit. They asked me if I'm high. I say really, really. Shout out to Kevin Gates. He is officially home, everybody. God damn, they kept that nigga in there forever. Nigga, what the fuck? What how many I swear to God, this nigga got out of jail from one state and went to about four. This the only nigga that went on a tour from joint to joint. <laughs> like, god damn. On a real. Okay, so what we gonna do? We gonna get right on up into this shit. You feel me? Let me see what's happening real quick. Um, cause we and shout out to everybody. And if you are logged on through the group, we just made a group. Please make sure that y'all subscribe to the YouTube pages. Please make sure that you subscribe to the uh, and you get into the group. Anybody can get into the group. Like I said, we don't want that soft shit. We want straight, ignorant, crazy ass, funny shit. Laugh at life. Anything that you can find that can piss you off, I can guarantee you I can find a way to make you laugh at it. So laugh at life. That's what we don't, that's what we do on this here show. Make sure y'all doing that. And we're gonna get into this shit right now. Shout out to my boy Ricky, I see you on deck. My boy Nasty Lee on deck. My stepbrother motherfucker Marcus on deck. I see you on deck right now. So what we gonna do is we're gonna get into it right motherfucking now. Have you ever fucked somebody and eventually fucked their friend? Now, 
I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to give y'all a few, th oh shit, my boy Brim on deck. I'm going to give y'all a few scenarios of my situations and, and, and as far as like the shit that I had that I can say for myself. Or no, matter of fact, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say why it happens. First of all, this is how we're going to do this. The first reason why this may have happened. If you have fucked on somebody and you was fucking on a friend originally. The main thing, the main reason, and the person who is at fault is the person who you was fucking originally. You know why? Because motherfuckers talk too goddamn much. You know how I done ran across a lot of good pussy in my day. I ain't never told nobody about it. Do you hear what I'm saying? Especially for you women. Y'all women, it's your fault because you shouldn't have been bragging about the shit at the end of the motherfucking day. Now, this is the crazy part, bro. Now, this is what makes it more valid and what makes it more real. It is your fault because of the simple fact it is. You know your friends. Not only do you know. Not only do you know that this bitch. You done been with the club, to the club with your homegirls. You know good and well. Y'all done left 10 clubs before, and out of the 10 clubs y'all done went to and left, she done left with seven different niggas. So don't be shocked when she do your nigga. And then at the end of the day, at the end of this, you know good and well that bitch lonely than a motherfucker. Hell, she leaving the club with random niggas. You, that's a sign. Bing, she's fucking lonely, you hear me? Now, this is the crazy part. Now, she lonely. Shout out to my boy, my brother, Big Justin on Cheek. Y'all know I'm talking real. Now, check this. Now, you know your friend. Your friend is lonely. Your friend don't got nothing to do ever. You want me to tell you the other part about it? You sitting here with your goddamn weave and your rap sweat it all out. You over here, you done pulled up on her with a fifth of Hennessy. On the real, you done pulled up on her with a fifth of Hennessy. If you smoke, you done grabbed you a little KD from somebody. You done came over here, smoked, and did one of these. Ooh, girl. Da 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 da. This, that, and other happened. You know what that bitch is thinking? Her pussy getting wet. Like, it's your fault. You literally came to her and said, Guess what, girl? This nigga do this. This nigga do that. On the real. Hey, Shonda say, Shonda, you say, that, mean, that means she's just a hoe for sure. At the end of the day, do you have some friends that are hoes? Because we all do. I got some I got some of my niggas that ain't never discriminated a day in their life on a real. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that shit. You feel me? So, that's just what, that's what scenario. Y'all act a, oh, what'd you say? And you, on a, Ricky, what you say? She done basically advertised your dick. Why am I seeing my shit low? Everybody press share right now. Share this shit to y'all motherfucking groups. Let's get this motherfucking shit lit, goddammit. On the real, we gonna get it in right now. I'm not finna hold y'all. I'm not finna play around on the real. So like I say, that's the first one. Uh, let's see. On the real, okay. So that's the first one. Let me give y'all this next scenario. Of why you may have fucked somebody and you was originally fucking on her homegirl. Okay. That chick you Hey, that's what I, hey, no, Swift said it best. And that's why I, I talked about that a few weeks ago. I said how uh I don't I don't call no woman no hoe. I just you just like to fuck. I like to fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. We grown. We grown. I can't judge nobody, especially because if I judge somebody and call one female a hoe, then I mean I gotta call the next one one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that is. Spade in the building. Spade in the building. We talking about right now. If you fuck somebody and you eventually fuck one of their friends. Okay. The next situation. The next reason why I may have fucked your friend. I'm a, matter of fact, I'm going to talk from my behalf. 
If I fucked you and I fucked your friend and I guarantee you, even if you ain't logged on now, somebody's going to be on here to see me and be like, you know what? That sorry ass nigga did fuck my friend. I'm going to tell you the next reason why. The second reason why I may have fucked your friend. First reason because you bragged about it. The second reason is I really may have wanted her. I just met you first. See, y'all don't hear me right up. I really wanted her, but I met you first. Have you ever been kicking it with somebody and you've been chilling with somebody, whether you, whatever, whoever, whatever it is. Let's say you've been kicking with somebody and then you go around their peoples and then you notice like, damn, her cousin, her sister, her, her homegirl. That, 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 that bitch she just, that bitch that she go to work with, that motherfucker winning. Have you ever did that to yourself? Because we all have. Don't nobody sit up here and fucking lie. Oh, my mama, we all have. Straight up, and y'all know I ain't lying, that's why y'all laughing. Y'all know this is, this is a fact. We have all messed with somebody, and then we got to kicking around their people and be like, where the fuck was you at when I met this sorry motherfucker? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's keep it on done, girl. On the real. Dro in the building on my mama. I see you, bro. All right. Now, let's see this one, right? Let's see. Let's see. We got another one. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Matter of fact, because no, no, I'm going to keep on with this right there because because y'all don't understand how this is. This is an awkward moment. It is a very awkward moment for me to be in the crib with you and we all smoking and drinking and we chilling and I can't stop. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you right here. And but I can't I can't stop like you know, you know how you throw hints and shit. You don't just pass the blunt. You get up. Here you go. Whatever they say, they just said the dumbest joke you ever fucking heard in your goddamn life. But you laugh. Because you want to fuck them. You feel what I'm saying? This the motherfucker. Oh, you say. This the motherfucker. You drunk. You drunk. You over your limit. That motherfucker say. Man, we need to go back to the store. Bet you pull out 20 on the bottle. But if this person don't say nothing to the motherfucker you with, say, I need to get another drink. I bet you say, God damn shit, I'm already drunk. I'm good. Y'all know I ain't lying right here. You feel? So, that is the second reason. Oh, you better believe it. If you, oh my gosh, your friend got a big ass. Yeah, send me. I ain't gonna say. I don't, I'm not gonna. I don't never say that I'm a fucking saint. Like, shit. I'm a whole man. You best believe it on cheap. Like I say. So the first two reasons. If I fucked you and I eventually fucked your friend, two reasons. We got. We got a couple more. The first reason is because you said it. You bragged about it, and you shouldn't never told her and got her curious. The second reason is because. I really do want to fuck with your friend more. I just met you first. I didn't know who the fuck she was. You should never brought me around this person. Oh my mama. Okay. Now the third time, third reason why I may have fucked your friend. You know when you get to fucking with a motherfucker and they get comfortable. Like let's say she get comfortable. She one of them like her, her friend cool. Her friend be in the crib, posted up, ain't worried about shit. She ain't studying shit. Everything is a hundred. When you around this motherfucker, she yelling at the top of her lung. She don't, she fighting everybody in public. She she just doing everything. She messy as hell on Facebook. Just all the crazy shit. And then you get to see like yo, like she may have put you out there. And then you tell her friend, like, man, Shorty, what is your friend on? And you notice her friend is cool, like, why am I even fucking with her? I need to be fucking on you. You feel me? Like, one of them situations. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the third reason. If I fucked you, I might have fucked your friend. 
This is the third reason why. It's plenty of reasons. I'm pretty sure everybody got a reason. Because we always know that. We don't, yo, who, who actually on here can say they want to, if anybody on here, y'all going to show something about yourself. If you like a person that's going to eventually be messy and do all this extra shit and be, come on, we grown as hell. You're supposed to be a woman. Carry yourself as one. Why is you out here trying to fight folks and shit like that? You you up here being messy. You talk about people. You talk about all type of crazy shit. Stop playing on the real. Like, let's keep it hunting. Okay. Now we're gonna get to this one. And now this is this is this is valid. I want y'all to know that. And I want everybody to understand this shit. The main reason. Why I might have fucked your friend. By the fact, I'm going to hold off. Should I hold off? Where the fuck is y'all at? Press share. My people still on here. I see my brother Toast just got on here. Space still on deck with me. T flying this bitch with me. On oh, my mama. I'm about to tell y'all. <clears throat> the main reason why if I fucked you, I eventually fucked your homegirl. The main reason. It's because her shit together. Let me break this down for y'all. Why the fuck? Who? Why in the fuck do I got to be the man that come kicking with you and we go to your friend house? You hear what I'm saying? Like, we ain't going to your crib. We're going to your friend house. We're going to your friend house because of the simple fact that, God damn it, your friend got the crib. Why the fuck should I be the one in the position where I'm with you and we done went to your cousin's house and we made a pallet on the floor? I don't deserve that in my life. I've been there, done that. I'm grown now. Like, you hear me? And I, why should I be the nigga? Why should I be the nigga that got to do this when I can be up here? Possibly. Like, in real fucking life, though, bro. What the fuck am I going to sit over here and, and God damn it. Like, I, don't, I just don't understand it. I just don't think I deserve that. On the real, I don't feel as if I should be in the living room with you on the air mattress. And the only reason your kids is really, it's really the air mattress is on the living room floor at your cousin house for you and your two kids. But you put your kids on the, on the couch that night because I came over here and you wanted me to stay the night. And now me and you on the living room floor of your cousin house and your kids is right up over our heads sitting on the couch. I can't even fuck on you because I be like in a beat some shit down and make you make noises and all this other crazy ass shit. I can't even do none of this crazy ass shit. And then at the end of the day, we, even if the kids is getting babysitter, the kids is in the other room with your cousin kids. Let's say your cousin got some kids and your kids in the room with that. Hey, sleep over for the kids. But hold on. I still can't even really fuck on you like I want to because we are still in the living room, all in the motherfucking living room on the air mattress. So that means I got to be aware it is nothing worse. The worst shit ever is when you fucking on something and you trying to hold on to shit because you don't want to make noises. Or how about this? Have you ever been fucking in somebody's crib and, and while you fucking, you hear something like, and you got to turn around because you don't know if somebody finna walk past. This is their house. They can go to the bathroom when they fucking damn well please. They can go to the goddamn refrigerator and get someone they damn well please. Guess what? If they go to the refrigerator, bathroom, they walk past the living room where your ass is right there. You can't even do no shit. Come, let's keep it real. Come on now. So don't get mad at me if I fucked your friend because your friend was at a better position in life than you was. That shit, hey, listen, y'all is the same age. Y'all had the same amount of time, opportunity to do what the fuck y'all had to do. Now, anybody come over here and say I'm lying, I'll look at the comments right now. Uh-huh. Shaking my head. Hey, Trini. On the real. Uh-huh. Okay, yang yang, I see. Uh, man, hey, you know, you know I'm telling the fucking truth. Hey, <laughs> Coco, now that's real. <laughs> 
They can watch too, whatever, whatever. That's that's fine and fucking dandy. But at the end of the day, on the real, straight up, they, they, hey, and that's the crazy part. How about people's in the room, good king size? You know what I'm saying? They in there doing their motherfucking thing. You, Trin says, can I let a cat out the bag real quick? Just tell me yes or no. Can I let Can I let one cat out the bag real quick? Because I'm gonna tell you something, and I'm gonna res and I will respond to your you ain't shit comment. On the <laughs> hey, that's real talk. But hey, man, y'all know what it is. Hey, Bruce, what's up with you, cuzzo? I see you on the on, on in the building, my nigga. Man, we in here clowning, we talking real shit. Like I said, cause at the end of the day, if I fucking on you and I eventually fucked on your friend, and your friend got her shit together and I stopped fucking with you, who can you get mad at for real? Like, like for real. Okay. Since it's, since it's merch, and hey, that's and I see you on deck right now, little sis. Trincess right now, Trincess is a person who knows me a lot. So when she say I ain't shit, she knows that. Me and her were engaged when we was, I was 20, you was 19. This is the first person I ever said I love you and ever fell in love with. Shout out to you right now on the real. Good looking. You know I wish you all the best in life, and I know you be wishing me the best. So that's that's real respect. Like, me and this woman were actually engaged to be married at a very, very young age. And... That time is gone, came and went, and we still got much love for each other, and that's what's up. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, hey, that's one thing you watch it vice versa, but at the same time, and, and that's the thing, Tuck. She can't get mad if her homegirl, if I fuck her homegirl, I'm a. What you think I'm gonna do? What, like for real, bro? Tris has just said I ain't shit. Believe you me. She knows I ain't shit. <laughs> Let me shut up. But no, real talk though. But no, I ain't never fuck none of her friends though. That, that's the crazy part. You ain't never like nobody anyway. On t sock <laughs> it wasn't no friends. <laughs> but none of that situation. You knew better in the gate. That's the funny part about you being on this topic. Because we can sit and laugh about the shit. Uh, the real, as long as these years been. Uh, man, and that's the thing though, bro. When a motherfucker be hearing that shit, you got to understand a lot of these females be lonely as hell. You go sit there and tell your homegirl, or you go over there, you think these females can't see it. How many times has a woman told her homegirl, bitch, I see you glowing. You know how females call each other bitches like freely like we call each other niggas. Bitch, you glowing type of shit. You feel me like, they notice that somebody been nailing your ass to the crow. And now you're going to put a name on this nigga. And now you done gave it up, gave the opportunity to your friend. What you think that nigga going to say? No. It's so many scenarios. Go, go take it. I'm tired. I'm tired. Take her to the liquor store. You want to have her take you to the liquor store? Yeah, all right. Y'all better leave me alone. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Trees, what's going on with you? You just logging in. I see you on deck. We have been clowning already, Trees. You might have to go back and check this thing because I'm going to get into the next segment. We've been talking about the fact that, like I say, if I was fucking with a female and then I eventually fucked her friend, it was one of four reasons. Either the one, the main first reason is she should have been bragging about what the fuck I did to her because she know good and well her friend is, goddamn it, ain't really. She know her friend be with it. And at the end of the day, she know goddamn her friend lonely and be wanting that type of shit. At the same time, the second thing I said is, maybe I really wanted her friend, but I actually met her first. Like, I met her, and me and her been kicking, she brought me around her friend. I found her friend way cooler, shit like that, and I want to crash her. Or maybe, goddamn it, she be on some messy ass shit her friend don't, you feel me? On the real. No, we finna get into the cloud chasing. And when I get into this cloud chasing topic, we're going to get into the cloud chasing topic. I'm going to bring up this King Yellen, Cardi B shit, LeVar Ball, or just a small tech, and then the cool to my getting on the shirt. Matter of fact, let me pay these bills right now, and then we're going to get into the cloud chasers on the real. Okay, so check this out. Check this out. Please make sure that every single Saturday, y'all go ahead and chill. Y'all kill some time. Make sure after that, you are locked into Unsigned Saturdays. That is classic soul1075.com. That's every Saturday from 5 to 7 Eastern Time. Please make sure you are locked into there. And for those artists who have tracks and want to be submitted, please make sure your songs have no profanity on them. And email your songs to Forever United Together Radio at gmail.com. Uh, stamp, if you can, please drop it in the uh, comments right now. 
Forever United Together Radio at gmail.com. And for those who need extra car keys, lock yourself out your car. You got a foreign car, you need a remote. I got somebody that specializes in car keys and remotes. He specializes in uh, getting you into your home or changing your locks on your home. Maybe your goddamn baby daddy, man. Maybe you, maybe you want to put your baby daddy out and you want to switch the locks. I got somebody that can take care of you. Maybe you got a business up and running and you fire somebody. Y'all know y'all fire people and them crazy ass motherfuckers want to come back and shoot the shit up or whatever the case may be. I got somebody for that or for commercial businesses. Make sure you log in to majorkeys.biz. This is application only. Once again, that is majorkeys.biz. Okay. Let me see. We're going to get to this next shit. Man. <laughs> Hold on, Loki. Oh, the reason your girl get invited to come over and drink and stay. Because she knows she. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh my son. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, okay, check this out, check this out. Everybody go ahead, go to that bottom left hand corner, press share. Please make sure that y'all, whenever y'all on YouTube, we all watch YouTube. Just type in the Mr. Already Show and just press subscribe. I ain't telling you to go watch the video, just press subscribe so I can get the subscribes up, please, y'all. Uh, make sure y'all follow it. Everything is Mr. Already Show, except for Twitter. I don't fuck with Twitter ever since the fans indicted me from that bitch. Another story. Uh, okay, we're going to get into this clout chasing shit. Is you ready, Trees? On the real. Shout out to Trees. Trees will be here on the 3rd. On the real. Merched. And I just called you out online, so you have to come. <laughs> on the real. All right, now check this out. Check this out. Shout out to our rapper. Oh, oh, please. Everybody, wherever you from. Drop your, drop, even if you don't drop your name, where you from, drop them in the comments. I'm going to give your city a shout out in a little bit. All right, let's get to it. Um, When we first started, when I first thought about the cloud chasing, I'm like, man, okay. Shout out to Cardi B. You ain't nobody until you get a hater or two. I know that personally. But you really somebody when you get somebody trying to low key damn near lie on they dick or they pussy. Cause I got a couple of you bitches that done lied on y'all pussy about me. On my soul. And I swear to God, matter of fact, if I think about them bitches' names, I'ma find I'ma write them on paper and I'ma air every last bitch that lied on they pussy about me. I swear to God I will. Um But anyway, King L Chicago rapper. He went into some shit where he put a song out and some pictures and he tried to make it seem as if he was fucking Cardi B before Offset. So my thing is this, not only, Uncle Wap, I see you on deck, not only are you... Not only did he get basically kind of caught up in a loud, or he wasn't, he wasn't telling, he wasn't valid. Toki Gray Lake, where the hell is that at? Shout out to y'all. Damn, where is that at? What city, what state, what country? Um. Okay, go ahead. Everybody press share for me too. Everybody press share. Now the thing I was saying about uh, King Yellow, this is my thing. Bro, like. First of all, this is classic of when you when females will tell you in high school. Where your nigga will say something like this nigga's lying on his dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, I never understood that shit. I never understood that shit. Like, you feel me? Like. And he said, I seen something earlier today. Well, actually earlier yesterday, what made me uh think about it. And he was basically said, like, nowhere did I ever say that I fucked you. Let's say this. Let's say he did not say that. You know what the fucking idea that you sending off. You know the message that you are sending off within all of this. Like, you got to make sure, bro. You have to make sure when you do certain shit like that, you can say that you know her or something like that. Don't sit here and try to chase clout off her. You thinking to yourself, a chess move on my mama. See, this is a problem. This is the problem right here. I say this all the time. 
Too many niggas is trying to play chess with checker pieces. See, you think you could do all this, but in naturality, you need to be moving your ass one pace at a time. Too many niggas try to play chess with checker pieces. Now, this is what I'm saying about that. Why even come online or even make it seem like you was fucking her? Why? What, what was the point of that? When the same picture that you put online, you could have put online me and Cardi B. That's all you had to do. You just gonna get the same amount of likes. Once you tag in a motherfucker search that name, you're gonna get the same amount of motherfucking likes. At the end of the day, bro, that shit really like, come on now. You putting putting yourself in like all the come on man. Like I don't understand that shit, bro. Because first of all, I'm saying I'm, I'm speaking about bro because I feel as if he's supposed to be a street dude. So if you a street dude, you these certain things that you're supposed to follow and we and we ride by and we follow by. On the real. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Stacey. I'm trying my best. I promise. It's crazy. I told my people, I told my co uh, uh, executive producer in the other week, I said, man, what if I went to school for this? Like, this is just something that he brought to my idea. So thank you for that. On the real. He knew what he was doing, though. Yeah, that's right. And I see, and I get it because get your name out there. But don't get your name out there under these circumstances of trying to lie or stunt. Because once the truth comes out, every everybody can be a meme. That's all. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the bar for a second. Everybody can be a meme. And what I said about everybody can be a meme, you can be a good one or a bad one. You can say something and get yourself and motherfuckers like, damn, woo woo. Now you a liar. Now you now you flexing. Now you flexing for the gram. What do all fucking rappers say nowadays? Name me one motherfucking rapper ain't mentioned flexing for the gram. Including everybody. Including everybody. Yeah. That way. Straight up. You know what? I saw the video with him. He called Offset. Hey, we go, we go, we go get these cups. They they finna be in heavy rotation soon. Uh, MD, are you still? Where you at, MD? Give me a, a salute if you right here still, because I gotta ask you a question real quick. Um, can I? I'm about to go to Levar for a couple minutes. Continue with the cloud chaser. Last what was that four five months ago? Everybody was saying Levar Ball, father of the fucking year. I kept telling y'all, this nigga Joe Jackson and these kids, these little boys ain't saying they ain't speaking up for themselves. Some ain't right. Okay. Who gets what today? Somebody can somebody get what today? Somebody might be able to get one today. Somebody can get a cup today on the real. Uh, all right, now check this out. We going to LeVar. Now, let's, uh, let's talk this LeVar shit. LeVar's company has been rated as being an F. A grade, it's, it's grade as being an F. This is the funny part. Just this last week, I saw my cousin, my, my co-executive my co producer, MD, Post his shoes. He supports he he supports black businesses. Hey, no problem with that. He he got him a pair. He bought he paid for a pair of the sliders. Ended up getting the shoes. The shoes was five hundred. The sliders was two twenty. The main reason this man is getting an F because everybody's getting different product that they shouldn't even get or that they didn't pay for. The thing about this is that's funny is. Who got your sh who got your sliders? In who paid five hundred dollars for some sliders? Cause they went to somewhere. Now hold on, that's neither here nor there. He is now starting to call out L.A. staff right after the fact of the Lithuanian debut for his other two sons. Didn't go as planned. Wasn't gonna be no publicity. 
I ain't guarantee you ain't nobody seen none of that shit on ESPN. So now he's being the forgotten one. Now with him being the forgotten one, what can he do? Say some crazy shit? Didn't even work. Hit another wall. He's now calling out the motherfucking staff. Uh, he calling out the Lakers coach and everything. His son's still on the team. I told y'all this was not about Lonzo at all. It was always about LeVar. LeVar has put himself in a position to where he is now going to look up and watch what Give me two years, y'all. Two years. See what happened with LeVar, with Lonzo. He may not even be in the NBA, let alone be a Laker. Uh, everybody know about the H and M shit. You motherfuckers kill me. Let me ask y'all a question. Have y'all ever heard this term before? Sit your monkey ass down. If you black, it was said to you. On the real, if you black, it was said to you. You know what I'm saying? Sit your monkey ass down. Hold on. What is this? Okay, okay. So check this. The crazy part is now they put it on a shirt. You niggas want to get mad at y'all and y'all feelings and y'all don't feel it. Come, you want me to tell y'all some funny, crazy ass bullshit? Y'all motherfuckers need to quit that shit. On the real, as soon as a white motherfucker say nigga, y'all get mad for getting some. Like, like the thing is, the, the shirt say coolest monkey in the jungle. And they was referring to the black boy as a monkey. Yes, I get it, of course. Let's go riot and beat they ass and steal their clothes. Come the fuck on. Come on. Let me ask y'all a question. They called us that first. That was why they referred to a motherfucker. But when they got through, who the one that made it cool and who the one that twisted it into the way that they put it now? See, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you got to think about this. We can't get mad at you. That's like you get mad at your kids for cussing and all you do is cuss around them. And wonder how your children get to learn how to use a cuss word in a proper sentence. You feel me? Keep that in mind. On the real. They weren't thinking like that. And now this is where the clout chase comes in. And I will have a discussion very soon with somebody, and I don't give a fuck who it is, about the LeBron shit. But I'm going to say this. LeBron was the first motherfucker to jump in front of that situation. And he posted it social media. Well, most people were scared to talk about it. Now, the thing is, at the end of the day, if LeBron posted, now you feel like it's cool, then you post it for likes. See, that's where you try to chase clout. Have you ever noticed somebody who, uh, like, like, let's say, let's say somebody gets shot in the hood. Somebody gets shot in the hood in your face. You don't want to post that shit online because you don't want nobody asking you a million questions. But then as soon as you see two, as soon as you see two three people posted online, now here you go. Here you go with your bullshit. Oh, I was right there, this, that, and other. Why didn't you say this then? Because now it wouldn't look like you're trying to chase some clout and some attention. Stop fucking playing on the real. Straight up. Uh... Hey, Hayes, on the real, I just announced, I don't know if you was on or not, so uh, shout out to your boy, Kevin Gacy he free, huh? on the real. Um, matter of fact, you know what? I got a couple minutes. I'm going to do something. I'm going to tell y'all a story in a second. And that's how I'm, I ain't going to talk about these cloud chasing ass motherfuckers no more, bro. Like, for real. Hey, I was going to think about something. Y'all want to ask Auto. Who want to ask me anything? And I really actually... I'm going to look down this motherfucker. Hold on a second. I just seen a comment. Ask Auto. Ask already, Mr. Already. What's up? What, huh? No, you know what? How black people so ready? If I'll tell y'all this. This is the crazy shit. You want to find out who the, the most racist person is in the world? The most racist person in the world besides Donald Trump? 
What's, what, who? I mean, 45? The most racist person in the world is about 55 to 65 years old, and he's black. Oh, you could believe that. If you know any black man that's 60, 55 to 65 years old, oh, yeah. He don't like nothing but black people. Like, for what? He done been through some shit. That, he don't, he don't, he don't like no motherfucking niggas. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you think you are. Uh-uh, on the real. Matter of fact, where's... I'm going to do something. Can I do something this one time? I'm going to send a text to see if I can do something. I might just go ahead. I don't know if I can actually tap somebody in here. On the real. Because I want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> hey, where is Lido? Is Lido on here? Because I'm going to get up out of here. And I'm about to tell y'all about this story. That it, was, it was just a close call. A close call. One of these. I can't see something. Hey, uh, hey, or who's on her? Who got Lido on her? Who got Lido on her? Tag her right now. Tag her right, right now. On the real. And I will add her. I'm going to go over there and figure out if I can add her in her while I do the show. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for a second. All right, now check this out. Because this will be the first time. This will be the first time that I actually let somebody be a guest. Um, and I ain't supposed to do that. Yay. But now, nah, check this out, right? Okay, so I'm in the car and riding. I'm with my peoples. I'm with my peoples that are very, very close to me. These are people I, I respect more than life itself. There's two of these people in the car. What happens? Of course, police pull the car over on the rail. When they pull the car over, I got a big ass tool right there in the back seat with a boom. They come up to the car asking the most questions. You tag? Why well, don't see the tag? I don't even see the tag. I don't know. Maybe it's coming up on that side because I'm looking from this side. That's why I don't know if I can add add. But I definitely want to uh, cause uh, she was saying something, but I want to talk about that too, cause I had wanted to mention that too. Shout out to my peoples and everybody else. Uh, where's everybody from? Cause like I said, it's going. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. I didn't know if it was going to uh, do that either. Wait, it is what it is. Oh shit! I forgot. I gotta give a shout out to all you motherfucking crazy ass motherfuckers that be locking in with a motherfucker. Straight up. Oh, uh, hey, y'all want me to tell y'all something funny too? The funny part is they 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 playing them games again, y'all. Uh, they they playing the motherfucking game. They trying to hate on us again. You feel me? They trying to make sure the show don't run like it's supposed to. But we gonna make sure this motherfucker run like it's supposed to. Straight up, ain't no motherfucking secret. Um, what the fuck was I just looking? Oh shit! Hey, Brim, you down in Southern Illinois? I ain't know that shit. On the real, bro. Straight up, we got to get it in. Uh, oh yeah, because we got, hey, how long? Man, fuck it, we got, I got like 10 minutes of some shit on the real. Hey, I'm finna tag him right now. I'm finna jump on this shit, and I'm finna, uh, I'm finna, I'm finna get it in on the real. Hey, I got him. She better jump in her. We finna get Lido on her. Cause she was trying to talk some crazy shit about the situations. And I'ma ask her, cause I wanna get a woman's point of view about uh about goddamn it. If I fuck you and then I fuck your friend, can you actually be mad at me? You know what I'm saying? Like, on the real. That's cause she probably can't get online no more. You know her crazy ass always getting blocked and shit, you feel me? But nah, we <laughs> cool it though. Okay, okay. Oh. Um, hold on. But yeah, oh yeah, these good. Man, listen. In the cup. It's in here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find it. 
I can't I can't even find it right now either. I don't know where she at. On the real. Okay, so we're gonna continue right along. I'm in a motherfucking car. Car gets pulled over. That mm, people's is this, that, and the other. The person in the front seat plays like they got an asthma attack. The entire time, they have no idea what the fuck I got going on in this back seat. They don't know shit. Like, they just, I just tell them, like, oh shit. They like, so they play it off so the police leave us alone because they got some weed and they don't want it to be known. So we chilling. Police come, boom. Lee, go back to the cop. Come back. So when they come back, they say, you all right? The person say, I'm having an asthma attack. And the person in the driver's seat say, I don't got my license, but I was just going on her to the place. They still you know, the ass motherfucker get out the car. But no, they don't ask everybody. Like, they... Like, I just tell them, like, I'm throwing them off type of shit. I'm like, man, can I step outside the car, man? Like, it's hot in here. This car's small. You feel me? I'm tall. You feel me? So, goddamn it, at the end of the day, man, it, it, and it wasn't even that situation. Like, it was, one matter of fact, it was that. It was, yeah, I pulled you over doing 55 and a 54. One of them situations. So, goddamn and I think you actually know about this too, bro. Uh, but, uh, anyway, so goddamn it, I, I had uh I got my bag in the middle of the car. The bag is literally it got clothes in it because I'm with these people, but I'm going somewhere. Like at this specific time in my life, I was doing some other shit. So I'm going somewhere else and I'm finna be at that place for the night. So I got clothes and all hygiene. And I got I got a big ass I got a little pole on me. So Anyway, we go ahead. That's what happened. The motherfucking uh, police, he look and see the bag. And as he reached to the bag, she say, oh, shit. He said, what's going on, man? She like, oh, no, no. She like, I feel better. She like, she like. She's like, I feel, she's like, something better, something better. I feel a lot better. Because she's acting like it's a whole nother police officer, a whole nother car. And he's tending to her. But I guess once she noticed going to the back, her knowing what I actually do made her be alert to, like, why is he reaching? And the man actually had the bag. He literally grabbed the fucking bag. Opened the bag. And as he opened the bag, that's when all this is going on. I promise you, he shuffled one time. He like literally opened the bag and did like this and let all the clothes back up and closed it. One around of her. Both of them helped her. They pulled her up outside the car, talked to her. Are you sure you're all right? She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You sure? You sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm on. I'm already uh, where I need to go anyway. I'm. I'm gonna be there in five minutes. All right, you can go ahead. I might uh, piss my pants like like that much, like that much, just that much. I might have. Might. <laughs> I just bullshit. But no, that's my crazy life story. Like I said, I can't go into full detail of that story. That's why I have to wait to uh, say it. Because that was a long motherfucking day. On the real, I swear to God. Shout out. Before I go any motherfucking further. To all my peoples. Like my boy just said, my boy bring me in Carbondale. Shout out to my motherfucking hometown. Evans. Shout out to Chicago. Everybody I know that's checking in with me from Chicago and all around the place. Vegas, LA, Vegas, LA Alaska, Seattle, New York, D.C. ATL, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, New Orleans, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Miami, Calumet City, Harvey, Milwaukee, Minneapolis. My people that's in the feds still in Duluth that's checking in. They, they actually do check in too. Uh, Mississippi, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, St. Louis, uh, East St. Louis, Northwestern, all over Northwest Indiana, Hammond, 
East Chicago, Gary, Michigan City, uh, South Bend. Shout out to my people that's coming through in Elkhart. Shout out to my people in Detroit, Michigan. Shout out to my people in Benton Harbor, uh, Michigan, uh, Memphis, Montgomery, Alabama, uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, Lincoln, Nebraska, on the real, all that. Uh, my sister Rocky. Hey, hey, Roxy. I love you to death, honey. How you doing? Rocky, what are you doing? You want to come on my live? I think I could bring, I, I don't know, I, I don't do this. I will bring her on right now, and I can tell y'all another crazy life story. <laughs> hey, no matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all going to want to share this. Rocky, what are you doing? Can I add you in here right now? Hold on, I'm going to add you in here, Rocky. Rocky, I'm trying to, as you coming in, you better come in, and this is, <laughs> I really don't care right now, I, I, I really don't care. What the fuck happened? Rock. Shit, I can't see.